Nigeria's film industry, Nollywood, is considered the second largest in the world. And this status is ending her the attraction of more and more foreign investors. With this growth, locally produced movies have been jet getting more appearance on the big screen, otherwise known as cinemas. In a statement uh, and in an interview with our correspondent Adeshawa Odishoga, movie producer Charles Novia explains how the emergence of cinemas is gradually erasing the existence of piracy in the movie industry. The Nigerian film industry, Nollywood, has taken a new turn in recent years. What was once marred by low-budget movies with poor sound and image quality is transformed into a cash cow attracting tons of foreign investors. The industry, which ranks second worldwide in terms of movie production, has become a force to reckon with, featuring on international platforms like Netflix. Ten years ago, we were still doing DVDs. We were still moving at, DVD, at the pace of DVDs and our distribution, but now we are dealing with cinemas at a, at a, at a, at a faster pace than we are. We are we have understood too that um, you can shoot for the international market and you can shoot for your local market. And for a film to go international, you have to understand the politics of the international market in terms of your film going through the film festival circuits across the world. Uncontrolled piracy and the widespread circulation of unlicensed copies have eaten into the profits of filmmakers in Nigeria, and these have left thousands of them in debt. But the sudden acceptance of cinemas by its audience is gradually raising the menace. There's still a lot of foreign films being pirated. And, um, but it's, with the cinemas, it has reduced that. We have about 50 or 60 cinemas across the country. We need about 1,000 in the next one year or two years so that producers can release a film. And in the opening weekend, you get a billion naira, two billion naira, you know, in the, next, in the opening week of release and all that. This is where we need to be. This multi-million dollar sector is not without some challenges. Veteran movie producer Charles Novia says excessive taxation from the government has made financial outputs and inputs unequal. So 10 years, 15 years, 20 years ago, I could shoot a film, give it to a distributor who would release it on DVD and on VHS, and they would tell me it's going to sell 100,000 copies of this or a million copies, and they would sell it and give me my royalties and pay me, and I would see 10 million, 20, 30 million era in my account or pay it to bring it to me by check and all. But now um, the producer will shoot and go through the cinema structure and then there will be a 70, 30 or a 60, 40 sharing formula. And out of the 40% that comes to the producer, 15% gets taxed by the government, withholding tax and VAT, and it still shares about 5% or so or 7% with the distributor. So he gets only about 20 percent. I think you're going to be a very good MD ma. My father is still very much alive on you. Lion Art, a movie produced by actress Genevieve Innaji, has been making history for Nollywood since it debuted in 2018. The one hour 35 minute film was the first ever Nigeria original on Netflix and is now the country's foremost submission for the 2019 Oscar award. Part of the requirements which are very stringent is like seven whole pages of requirements. Uh, but part of it, uh, the technical quality uh, should be um, uh, surround sound, 5.1 surround sound, not just the normal sound. Um, there would be the, the kind of um, cameras, the kind of technical quality, the kind of picture resolution. And most importantly too, apart from all the other numerous um, submission requirements, would be that the movie itself chosen must be predominantly in a foreign language. The hunger for blockbuster movies is growing among Nollywood audiences, but there are limited spaces with just about 45 cinemas across the country. The establishment of more cinemas in the country would increase producers' distribution.